Hello everyone. Welcome to this webinar on Advanced Inventory Management app for Zoho Books. Let me quickly get to the agenda of this webinar today. First, we will be seeing what is inventory management. This is just to get an idea as to what business functionalities you can automate and streamline using an inventory management software. And then on why integrate your inventory platform with your accounting platform. And after all this, then there is a very brief demo on the integration between Zoho Books and Zoho Inventory. Before I get started with this webinar, I would like to inform you all that all the attendees have been put on mute. So if you have any questions, please post it on the question box or ping on the chat. I'll address them at the end of the webinar. So without any further delay, let's get started with the webinar. What is inventory management? The most common definition is that it's a practice of tracking the flow of your products into and out of an existing inventory and ensuring optimum level of stock. So here when we say optimum level of stock, we mean having the right amount of inventory at the right place and at the right time. Now this can be put into three broad segments. The first one would be inventory tracking and control, which largely covers tracking of your products availability based on quantity on hand, quantity committed, quantity that you have ordered for your, with your vendors and also the quantity that's received. The next you have order management, which deals with creating and managing sales orders, purchase orders, bills and invoices and also more importantly, automating your entire order to cash process. And then third you have order fulfillment. This becomes very important, especially if you have a business dealing with tangible products. That is, order fulfillment deals with creating and managing shipments and deliveries of your products. So this inventory and order management process is what Zoho Inventory helps you uh, streamline and automate. So Zoho Inventory is one of the Zoho Finance Suite apps, which is an advanced inventory and order management software that lets you centralize your inventory system and automate the entire order to cash process of your business. Now Zoho Books also has its own inventory module. So it has very basic uh, inventory functionalities which lets you track your inventory. But if you're looking for an exclusive inventory management platform, then and that also integrates very well with Zoho Books, then maybe you should try this integration. Now let me give you a heads up as to what advanced inventory management features that comes with Zoho Inventory. So this is a very brief heads up. I'll show you how these functionalities work in Zoho Inventory as well as how these functionalities get reflected in Zoho Books when we are on the demo. So now for now we have item groups, uh, which is basically helps you manage your items in a more uh, sophisticated fashion. Say for example, you're in a textile industry and uh, most of the products you deal with are garments. So the gum, like for example, say take a t-shirt and the t-shirt might have a different variance to it based on sizes like small, large, excel, and then based on patterns with sleeve, without sleeve. So it's basically one product having different variants. So this can be managed as one item group in Zoho inventory. And in Zoho books, these items are anyway available as individual items as well. And then we have composite items. So composite items or item kindling or item bundling is basically uh, bundling two or more of your products as a kit and selling them at a different price. Say for example, uh, you own a stationery shop. So you want to put all your stationeries like uh, pencil box, rubber, everything and sell as one stationery kit. Then you will be bundling all these your individual items and selling as a stationery kit at a different price. So Zoho inventory helps you uh, lets you do bundling of your items as well. And these composite items are again individually available in Zoho Books as well. Though you can't do the bundling in Zoho Books, but when you do these bundling or uh, item kitting in Zoho inventory, these composite items are available as individual items in Zoho Books. So next we have warehouse management. So using Zoho inventory, you can do, you can, mal you can uh, manage multiple warehouses and also record transfer of stock between them. And then you can do back ordering for orders that are uh, out of stock and then do drop shipments where you can convert your sales orders into purchase order and making your vendor to directly deliver the goods. 
as well as invoice directly to your customers as well. And then we have order fulfillment. So order fulfillment, as I told you earlier, deals with creating and managing shipments and deliveries of your products. So Zoho Inventory uh, provides you an option to integrate with 30 plus shipping carriers. So by integrating your uh, Zoho Inventory with these shipping carriers, you can create packing slips, uh, track your uh, product delivery status within Zoho Inventory platform itself. So these are some of the uh, advanced inventory management features that Zoho Inventory offers you. So now let's see why integrate your inventory and accounting software. So why integrate your inventory and accounting software? So your inventory and accounting software share a lot of similar modules or data. Your contacts, accounts, vendors, customers, products, and more importantly, sales orders, purchase orders, invoices, and bills. So when these information are common to both your inventory and accounting platform, integrating these platform uh, helps in a long way in avoiding duplication of your database and also helps you in saving a lot of time. The second one is expanding your selling channels. Soho Inventory is integrated with online marketplaces like Amazon, Etsy, eBay, and also shopping carts like Shopify. So with this integration with Zoho Inventory, all the customer profiles and products in Amazon, Etsy, eBay, or Shopify gets automatically synced with Zoho Inventory. Now, with Zoho Books integration with Zoho Inventory, you can also sync these customer profiles and products in Zoho Books as well. So if you're a Zoho Books customer and you also sell on online marketplaces like Amazon, Etsy, and eBay, and uh, maybe you can get try out Zoho Inventory integration to get all these information reflected in Zoho Books as well. Second, and the third one is advanced inventory or an order management. Well, you get to do all this advanced inventory management with Zoho Inventory, all the relevant and required uh, transactions and changes gets reflected in Zoho Books as well. This I would be showing you uh, on the demo. So now how this integration is different. So Zoho Books and Zoho Inventory are part of Zoho Finance Suite. So both of them share the same database. That is Zoho Books and Zoho Inventory have the same database, which makes seamless flow of business information very easy. The modules are synced in real time. That is for every transaction made in Zoho Inventory, you can see the changes that reflect in Zoho Books in almost instantaneously. So now because of the seamless integration, where your accounting and inventory platform share the same database, there are certain added benefits to it. So your available stock in your Zoho inventory uh, is synced with your inventory asset values in your accounting platform. So because of this, you can anytime go to your Zoho Books platform or your accounting platform, get an accurate inventory valuation reports as your inventory transactions and accounting transactions are integrated. So this helps in a long way in, way, uh, in duplication of your efforts or creating a similar transaction in both the uh, platforms and also a lot of time. So now let's see this integration between Zoho Books and Zoho Inventory in action. So first of all, let me show you how to integrate your Zoho Books account with Zoho Inventory. So you would see a gear icon on the top right corner. And when you come down, you see something as integrations. Under integrations, choose Zoho apps. And you would find Zoho Inventory right below. Now, I've already integrated my account, Zoho Inventory account with Zoho Books. So it says active. If, even, if in, even before in activating your integration, you can just press the access button and then your Zoho, book, Zoho Inventory account will be available. So now this is how your Zoho Inventory uh, dashboard looks like. So let me just give you a brief uh, demo on the Zoho Inventory and then we'll quickly get into the integration. So this is how your Zoho Inventory dashboard looks like. So on the top, you have the consolidated view of your sales orders based on their status that is to be packed, to be shipped, 
to be delivered and to be invoiced. And then you have the total quantity in hand and then the total quantity to be received. And right below that, you have the low stock items for which you have set reorder levels. And then you have top selling items, which can be seen for different time period. So these top selling items will appear on your dashboard and also their available inventory. And so that you can make sure these don't go out of stock. And then below that you have purchase order history where you can see the quantity ordered and the total cost. And then you have a sale, another sales order status summary based on each ch channel. So here you saw it is a consolidated view of all the sales orders. Here you would be able to see from each of your selling channels that is Amazon, Etsy or eBay. And this is also based on different time period you can view this. So now I can see from Etsy how many sales orders and from Shopify how many sales orders and for each sales order what is the status. And the last one is your sales order summary which helps you keep track of your sales you have made every day or different time period and also this sales information is also available based on different channels. So now let's get to the integration. So the first advanced inventory management feature that I was talking about was so inven item groups. So under item groups, you can see here that I have the main item custom made pencils and under that I have a subcategory which is black and blue. So these are your items and these are the item groups. So now when you have items which has a lot of variants, you can have a consolidated view of these, your items and item groups and they are available stock individually. Now these items are available in Zoho Books as well as individual items. So let me show you. So when you click on the items in the Zoho Books, you can see all the it individual items here, right here. But then if you want to have a uh, sophisticated view of your items that is based on the item and the item variants, then you can go to Zoho Inventory and have a view of your items based on their item groups and variants. So now let's get to composite items. So using this composite items in Zoho Inventory module, you can create a composite items or bundle your items. So Say for example, let me just show you, click new, and then here you can give a name for that bundle kit and then add items. Now, once you create these composite items, these items are also available in Zoho Books as individual items. So even if you create composite items in Zoho inventory, even though this option is not available in Zoho Books, you can still be able to view these composite items in Zoho Books as individual items. Now let me show you about item adjustments. So sometimes you might have to do some item adjustments based on various reasons that are stock written off, stolen goods, stock, stock taking results. So there are various uh, reasons for which you might want to do some item adjustments based on quantity or order. So when you do such adjustments, these adjustments gets reflected in Zoho Books in real time. So let me make a small inventory adjustment here. So I'm going to make a uh, value adjustment or quantity adjustment. So let me make a quantity adjustment. And you can also associate to any account that you want to. And this also gets reflected in Zoho Books. So I'm choosing a reason inventory revaluation and choosing an item for which I'm changing the quantity. So I've chosen two items and uh, plus 10 plus 20. So I have made the quantity changes and giving save. Now, as and when you create these item adjustments, now this item adjustment would be available in Zoho Books as well. So go to the items tab in Zoho Books and under item adjustments, you can already see that on 24 January, uh, with the recent inventory revaluation, I've made this particular item adjustments. So it's instantly reflecting in Zoho Books as well. So you can see that there are two products that I've chose for which one had reduced the quantity by 10 and other had increased the quantity by 22. So you can see the uh, changes reflecting in Zoho Books. So now let's move on to sales orders. 
So in Zoho inventory, the sales order is tracked based on shipment. So the sales order status will have whether it is packed, shipped, delivered. So these are the statuses that you would be tracking in Zoho inventory. In Zoho books, you would be tracking your sales orders based on payments. But whenever you create a sales order in Zoho books or Zoho inventory, it gets automatically reflected in both the platforms. So let me create a sales order. Say I'm Mrs. Jessica Pearson and uh, I'm creating items. So I've created and saved this draft. Then I'm going to my sales order module and I'm creating, I'm marking the sales order as confirmed. So now this sales order is available in my books as well. So you can see on 24th January, Mrs. Pis uh, Jessica Pearson and it has an open status. So for your finance team can make use of this sold sales order and track for payments and your operations team can make use of this sales order and track your shipment status. So that's how simple and seamless flow of business information happens between Zoho Inventory and Zoho Books. So last one which I want to show you is reports. So all these quantity adjustments that happens in Zoho Inventory that is, in Zoho Inventory, you can you have two modes of inventory tracking. That is, bills and invoices, receives and shipments. So based on these transactions that you create, your inventory for your products keeps going up and down. And all these uh, inventory or stock on hand that you have in Zoho Inventory gets reflected in Zoho Books as well. And whenever you generate an inventory valuation report, you get the accurate information. You can also derive such inventory valuation report in Zoho Inventory as well. So thank you so much uh, for uh, listening to this webinar. So if you have any questions, please post it on the questions or the chat box. We will be answering now.